to exhibit at our partners, the Detroit Institute of Arts, that's causing quite a stir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little chocolate involved too, and it will also bit. help you in your holiday shopping. For that coffee lover, tea lover, chocolate lover, uh, and who doesn't love? All those individually, right. collectively, a <laughs> couple at a time. We're joined now by Yao Fen Yu, who's the exhibition curator and associate uh, curator of the European uh, Sculpture and Decorative Arts at the DIA. Good to see you. Welcome. How do you get all that on your business card? It must wrap uh, around, right? It sure does. And plus, we have a vertical card. It's really difficult. No kidding. I, I was just making that up, really. You no, know, it's true, but it's actually harder for people who have like multiple multiple positions. Wow. So that means you really know what you're doing. Your title is a long title. I try so. to. Try yeah. to. Try okay. to. So what are you going to see? Well, the exhibition is called Bittersweet, okay. Coffee, Tea, and Chocolate. And you're going to see some wonderful things from the DIA's permanent collection. You're also uh, you're going to see some fabulous, fabulous tea and coffee services. You're going to see things that might be in storage. You're going to see, um, and you're also going to see uh, loans from uh, international centers like Paris. You're going to see Madame de Pompadour's coffee grinder. Mm. That's uh, all gold. Wow. It's beautiful. Wow. It's really exquisite. And you're also going to experience things. So this is the first multi-sensory exhibition uh, at the DIA. So you're going to be uh, able to see things, uh, touch things, smell things, and even taste something. That was my next question. Are we going to be able to taste, which is really exciting. But do you guys also get into how important coffee, tea, and even chocolate were to world economies and powers? Oh, absolutely. I mean, okay. you know, a subtitle of the show could be how Europe became caffeinated. Yeah. Mm, so I like that. You know, Because we hear things, you know, some of us in America, we think a Kit Kat bar and a Keurig coffee, that's it, man. But <laughs> right. you start to think about European style, Turkish coffee, right the trade routes that exactly develop. exactly yeah. and we have a whole little subsection on that because coffee when it was first introduced into Europe was actually called the Turkish drink Oh, really? It's because it was, even though coffee was native to Ethiopia, it was uh, actually banned there by the uh, Orthodox Church. And so that it was uh, really cultivated mm. in Yemen and in uh, uh, then so, uh, really enjoyed in Turkey and Istanbul. And it was through t trade uh, with Turkey, uh, especially at the port of Venice, that Europeans became introduced to coffee. What great history. And so, yeah, so can we can taste it. Oh, you will be able to taste something in the end. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you what that is. Otherwise, you won't be able to. Otherwise, you won't want to come to the show. Okay, so Eric Huck is here. He's director come of retail operations at the DIA. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. So tell us about these great holiday shopping ideas that Absolutely. we can find. We have a great exhibit store right at the end of the exhibit. So you walk right out of the exhibit where you have tasted a little something in the exhibit. <laughs> to Which is a big our, secret. It is. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> then you come right into us. So we've partnered with many different people locally. Um, to really represent what the exhibit represents. So Great Lakes Coffee here locally in Detroit actually did a custom roast of coffee for us in coordination with the exhibit. These beans are brought in from Costa Rica just for us and just for the run of the mm. exhibit. Nice. Eli T in Birmingham did a custom blend. It's an Earl Grey Jasmine. It's really nice, a little bit floral. And if you look very closely at the actual um, spices and oh, pieces yeah. in there, it has a little bit of cornflower blue for the DIA. Interesting. Logo, right? oh. uh, Mindo Chocolate is a great partner for us and they um, have provided a lot of the chocolate expertise for us in, in partnership. Um, so we have the drinking chocolate available and then we have gift baskets of all price points mm -hmm. from 20 up to 150. This one is a VIP package, so you actually get VIP tickets as well. Very cool. Very nice. In the center, this is Furstenberg porcelain. It's all made in Germany. There are actually two pieces of this in, or two collections of this in the exhibit. I love this. Um, this is modern day, um, so this is the gold a little more So this is for sale? This is for yeah. sale yeah. You can buy this right now. I can. Yeah. <laughs> I can you, did you bring a square up on your phone? Yeah, I sure did. Swipe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and the detail is just really amazing, the face. Yeah, I don't know if you guys yeah. can see it, but yeah. this has like a thing just beautiful. Kind of imprinted on it. Yeah. And then you've beautiful. got wonderful jewelry. I just saw the cufflinks. Are we those do. actual yeah. uh, coffee beans? They are cast from coffee oh, bean molds. They're all silver, so there's the, the necklace, the bracelet, the earrings. This is a really beautiful collection. This is actually Tibetan pearl. They're hand carved, and then all that marbling effect that you see closely is actually dyed with tea. Oh. Um, they're all made here in the USA. And then this collection is made locally out of silverware. Um, there are the bracelets, the Very rings, cool. and the bud vases. They range from $20 to $45. How so many years do, you know, do we go about our lives trying to find something with cool texture, mm -hmm. something so different in here? Yeah. Right it here is at the DIA. Yeah. Well, good yeah. to you see you. You guys have a great Thank gift you. store at the yeah. DIA. I really like it. I like Again, it. this exhibit is at the DIA now through March 5th of next year. It's a great place to visit with your family, out of town relatives, or just a nice outing to get away from the 13 degrees outside right now. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Tickets for the exhibit are $14 for adults, 7 for kids.
but there's a discount for residents of Wayne, Oakland and Macomb counties. Just $10 for adults and $5 for kids. And it's free to the members of the DIA. Of course, that's always a great gift also, right? Yeah. Yes, and we're actually having a discount on memberships right now until the end of the year, 20% right. off. It's oh, beautiful. Great. And beautiful. another side note, it's an important reminder for you, general admission to the DIA for residents of Wayne, Oakland and Macomb counties is absolutely free. If you want more info on all of this, you can check out the great uh, website, DIA.org. Jason? Yeah.